Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 How are you doing? Good. Good to see you all again. Good to see you again. Stop, stop, stop. So, uh, can you all tell me how everyone's uh, journeys will be different in season two versus season one? Mm. Um, I'll, I can start that one. I think that for Britt personally, it's almost a continuation of her journey in season one. She was very focused on pleasing, you know, people and trying to set a boundary with Samantha and then going uh, through with her marriage to Joel. And at the top of season two, um, you see her separated immediately going through a divorce and trying to lean on her friends more, lean on Felicia, lean on uh, Samantha and try to figure out what it means to try to not try so hard, (laughs) 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 which is a kerfuffle in itself, (laughs) which we see unfold in season two. So who wants to go next and add on to that? Well, I feel like for Felicia, we really get a peek inside to of her personal life um, and get a peek inside of her romantic relationship and her former romantic relationship and the father of her child. And really, I feel like there's a couple different instances now where I feel like we're so used to Felicia in the first season ha- always having the answer for Sam. And this year we kind of get to see her trying to figure out the answers for herself. Can't wait to see that. And Garrick, what are we going to see for James? Mm. <laughs> oh boy. Um, just a lot of growth. And I, I think it is just him realizing that he was never perfect to begin with. And um, all of this, you know, I'm uh, here are the things that you need to do to stay sober on paper it doesn't really work for him. Um, and uh, pretty much just getting back in touch with his roots, getting back in touch with his family and uh, trying to, to redefine what sobriety means for him. Does that mean we will see his family again? Because the James Cedric from season one was... One of my absolute favorites. Yeah. Um, I, I, yeah, we, we get a little glimpse back into his, his folks. Uh, so definitely they make a, another appearance um, in uh, different ways this time. So it's great. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. I really love that. And that's fun. Yeah. How are things going to change with Sam since She's now a year and a half sober, and as mentioned, James fell off the wagon. Um, it, it changes a lot. It changes. It, there's a lot of ups and downs. Um, it is definitely um having her own, you know, a, a part of her support uh, thrown out the window. Where this is, this was somebody that she could look to to find rules and what she can and cannot do, and then to watch him blatantly throw the rules out the window uh, changes their dynamic very much. Now she's the one that's a year and a half sober and he's the one that is just now getting back into it. So Mm. the tables have for sure turned um, on their relationship and um, they're just trying to figure out new ways to define that. And I I think to the first year we have, you know, uh, of trying to get sober is really just really trying not to drink. And then there's this whole other level of, okay, my body's used to not drinking now. What's this next step of kind of changing my mind and kind of her search for her higher power? Yes, I'm so excited for everybody. And Sasha, you mentioned that you called off the wedding with Joel. So what does but I didn't call really it off. Was. I went through with it. Yeah. <laughs> Brit, she, yeah, she goes through with the wedding. Uh, Britt goes through with the wedding at the end of season one, but at the top of season two, well, and at the end of season one also shows up at Sam's house. Um, so she's left the wedding. And at the top of season two, she's finally taken the step because I think 
throughout season one, you know, I, I received some great words from fans of the show who were saying, right, he wasn't for you anyway. You guys weren't right together. You don't need him. He doesn't need you. Um, so she's embarking on, you know, figuring out what it is that she wants, which is control over her life again, um, or rather control over what she wants in life. And I think that it's interesting to see her try to, um, try to be honest with her family, which is tough for her. She has to be forced into telling them and try to figure out what it is that makes her happy, which um, becomes a, an interesting like through line until she realizes that she just needs to be honest with um, her family, honest with Joel, honest with Sam and open up and be vulnerable and then forgive herself for the mistakes she made in the past. And that's how she can move forward. What she wants I is peace. World peace. Yeah. <laughs> World peace and inner peace. World peace, inner peace. Yes. <laughs> and Lily, you met Felicia met her new boyfriend at the disaster wedding. How is that? Yeah. Can you, can you, uh, that's that's the love. That, that's that was the, the theme. That was the theme. I'm sorry, I talked over you. What was the last part of your question? I said, how is that going to play into other relationships that she met the her Felicia's new boyfriend at the disaster wedding. Yeah, you know, I think you find love in weird places, right? And, uh, you know, Britt really wingmanned Felicia on the day of her own wedding, which is awesome. Right. Um, but yeah, we, we really get to see this beautiful love between Felicia and Peter develop. And uh, I think the line... The line in there that we ended up using was, you know, she's so used to hitting and quitting that mm. it's it's been a, a new experience really bringing someone into her life and meeting her kid and spending time with her, the father of her baby, you know, and uh, so we, we kind of get to see a little bit of that come out too this year. And... What do you think the fans are going to like the most about this season? What I like the most as a fan is Ali Sheedy. Ali Sheedy yeah. kills it this year. Yeah. She killed yeah. it the first season, but this year, particularly her performance and her arc and uh, Carol going to al is just so so well done excellent give the woman yeah. an emmy yeah yeah all the guest stars this season are fantastic we have busy phillips we have molly ringwald we have um yes you know ricky velas who who plays um alex this season and is samantha's main source of internal torment <laughs> <laughs> um and so many more that are just brilliant and some of our you know mindy comes back and um it, it's it's brilliant yeah yeah i really i i mean just the piggyback john glazer sorry, I have to say it. john glazer yeah i i think <gasps> we just have such a Dang. funny guest star uh we guest do. star yeah. roster like it's yeah. it's really nice to watch everybody be these like straight men and men or or um just straight down the road characters and then you have this goofy set of casts or guest stars around them and just throwing them like softballs or like fastballs and all that stuff and so that's just been really fun to watch throughout the season all right well thank you so much for your time i really enjoyed chatting with all of you again thank you yeah, thank you thank you i'm a big fan of the show so Awesome. Fingers, like crossed for season three. Three. Fingers crossed for season two. Thanks, Laura. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys have a great day. You, you too. too. Bye bye.